So this is the current situation at Castle Coombe. Uh, chaotic to say the least. Uh, we can't get on site until five o'clock apparently and I go off at half past five. So um, it could be a very short warm up. And now, so, <laughs> so now, uh, now they're trying to jump start the car that's parked in front because the battery's flat um, and they're at a racing car circuit with a load of car mechanics and yet none of them can, see, can seem to know how to jump start the car and it's got an electronic handbrake so at the moment at the moment there's literally no way no way of getting on the track at all On my way home wasn't quite the video I had planned I had planned I had in my head anyway that I was gonna get some really nice b-roll of all the riders and maybe even some drone footage and then it was like as soon as I finished the TT it was like bye bye get off the site which is totally fair enough um, I kind of forgotten that it was a kind of no spectator thing so it's really annoying I only managed to catch up with Chris and Eve uh, I, was j I just well just before the finishing line they were doing their warm-up lap and they shouted a a kind of bit of encouragement that cost me a few watts uh, at the end which which was good um, and I never even saw John or, or Dan or anyone else that was uh, Belinda I saw shortly I don't know there were lots of people that I should have seen that I didn't really see but anyway so none of that I'll tell you how my race went so my race went okay considering I've done two weeks of 350 kilometers and I've done 250 kilometers already this week and I haven't had a rest week for the best part of two and sorry a rest day for the best part of two and a half weeks, I didn't do too badly. Um, so I think I got round in just short of 25 minutes. It was like 24.50 or something. Um, average just below 39 kilometers an hour, which I think considering how the legs feel, that's all right. I kind of now understand what it feels like to do those TTs at the end of those grand tours must be just sheer agony for everybody that has to do them domestiques through to the uh, gc riders but anyway it was good fun i do love time trialing i love everything about it it is the thing that i fell in love with about racing in the 80s the sort of simplicity and the purity of it and all of my favorite riders have always been good tts stephen roche my absolute sort of hero from childhood really when i was about nine was an amazing time trialist uh, through to Alex Dowsett, David Miller, Wiggins, um, in terms of British time trialists anyway, but then there was those kind of unknown ones like Stuart Dangerfield and uh, Beryl Burton, who, uh, who basically could beat anyone on any given day, um, and um, Michael Hutchinson and all those kind of guys. You know, there, there's lots of amazing riders out there and I just find the simplicity of you pitched against the clock absolutely brilliant um, and it's great to do it on closed roads it's great to do it on a surface like that and I have to say that Castle Coombe today didn't really have any wind and anyone that's raced at Castle Coombe will know that I'm probably lying 
uh, and I'm not lying because there wasn't actually much wind there today at all. For the first time in 10 years of racing there, I, I, there was no wind. Um, and I think I got my lines right, and I think I got my power pretty consistent. It was just good fun. So I am back into the long rides tomorrow. I've got two people joining me tomorrow morning for about 100K. Um, so that will take me up to about 350K for the week, and then we'll see what Friday, Saturday, Sunday brings. Um, but yeah, if you haven't subscribed, you know what to do. Give me a thumbs up, leave a comment below. I don't really care what the comment is, but I've discovered that comments really help the algorithm push your videos up. So please do leave a comment. Uh, tell me maybe what your actual first race is. I know I'd said I was gonna be pinning a number on today. There were no numbers, it was just a chip. But what's the first time you're gonna pin a number on this season? Has your race been moved or have you actually got one in? Because I have. I raced today for the first time in over a year. Have a good one, see you tomorrow.